Good morning to you. I am Mark Suddeth, and here's what's up in the tropics for Thursday, the 30th of June, the last day of the month, 2022. In the Atlantic Basin, we have three areas we're still watching, none of which have developed into tropical depressions or storms yet. There's our system in the western Gulf. That'll definitely bring some rain to Texas where it's needed. We have potential tropical cyclone two, which has about 36 hours to go to make something of itself before moving into Central America. And then another system well to the east of the Windward Islands that itself will bring more rain and squally weather eventually to that part of the Lesser Antilles in just a few days. Meanwhile, in the eastern Pacific, we have a disturbance out here, 94E, well to the south and west of Mexico, that will probably continue to develop some as it moves farther out into the open Pacific. Satellite imagery this morning, there's that system in the eastern Pacific, 94E. There's our potential tropical cyclone. It's just been moving way too fast. It's actually got otherwise very favorable conditions around it, but it's just moving too fast to consolidate. Uh, then the disturbance to the east of that out over the tropical Atlantic. Again, that might move into the Windward Islands and vicinity, bringing some squally conditions. We'll see how that evolves over the coming days. Meanwhile, in the Gulf of Mexico, let's just zoom in here. There's our disturbance, 95L, off the coast of Texas. Um, not very well organized overall. Upper level winds just kind of too strong for that. But there are some rain showers in and around the Texas coast. I'll show you that in just a moment on a nice radar animation. The vorticity signature, this kind of tells the story too about our potential tropical cyclone down there. It's right off the coast and even straddling the coast of South America. And until that energy moves fully into the Southwest Caribbean, it's going to continue to struggle to develop. There's the area of energy out well east of the islands, moving on along to the west-northwest. Upper level winds definitely are not favorable for much development of that system. So again, it'll just be a, a hopefully a potentially decent rainmaker for parts of the islands that need it. And then here's our disturbance headed towards the Texas coast. And finally, our system out there in the eastern Pacific. All right, looking at the track guidance here for our PTC number two, most of the model guidance bringing it in somewhere just north of the Costa Rican border, maybe southern Nicaragua. The overwhelming majority of the model guidance brings this system into the extreme southwest Caribbean Sea uh, over the next 36 hours or so. Here's that radar animation of the Gulf of Mexico, some rain already spreading into portions of southwest Louisiana, down the coast of Texas, and eventually this will all spread inland. Could bring some heavy rain at times, so the threat of flooding is there, especially in your metro areas like Houston. So just be aware of that as this moves in. You need the rain, but too much rain over a short period of time, as you know very well, can be problematic. Looking at the GFS from the 6Z run, as we end June and get into July through this big holiday week coming up with July 4th, not far away, nothing in the tropics to be concerned about. I don't see any areas that really consolidate and raise an eyebrow. Ooh, that's going to develop. Not really, except once PTC2 moves into the Pacific, where it could develop into a hurricane, believe it or not. All that time from Africa all the way across the Atlantic, crossing Central America, into the eastern Pacific. Pretty remarkable. And if it can just continue to do so without much impact to people, well, again, that's a pretty interesting thing to see. All right, that is it for me for today. I don't have a hurricane outlook and discussion planned because I'm traveling home from New York City. I'll talk more about what I was doing up here tomorrow when I get back to North Carolina. All right, have yourselves a great rest of your Thursday. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm Mark Suddeth. This has been What's Up in the Tropics. I'll talk at you again tomorrow morning. 